News Post of MGTV. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We should, in my view, urge the president to lead the challenge. The president of the Federal Republic has to be urged to declare an emergency on this and to lead the national response to it. In every country where this has happened, and we are not alone, the Americans dealt with the opioid crisis. Anywhere you have this issue, the executive must take the lead. And in that context, Mr. President, I will suggest that we call for a declaration of emergency and urge the president to lead. And then we should have a national summit. We should have a national summit on this so that all the stakeholders, NDLA, the police, the medical people, and the federal government itself, we will now listen to all of them, even beyond what we know, because we are not experts. That unfortunately, the words of most of our elites are also affected. Fortunately, we have a leadership of NDLA that is very, very determined. Buba Marwa, General Buba Marwa retired, was our governor in Borno State. And all of us here know his determination and capacity and the effort he has put in this NDLA that has turned it around and even given the institution an international recognition. But he is handicapped. He is handicapped. I discussed with him severally. And coincidentally, this is the time to help him. This is the time to get the committee that this Senate has created to sit down with the leadership of the NDLA to know what they need in terms of resources, tools, or whatever, in order to face this war squarely. A lot has to be done by families if we have to bring this situation under control. And I think it's what uh, Senator Dixon said, that we have reached a point of national emergency. We should convoke a national dis discourse on narcotics. And then at the, at the end of it, we should come up to this chamber as, as legislators to formulate policies and possible legislations that can cope this situation and bring sanity to the society. Nigeria is currently facing a rise in drug abuse, which has reached an unprecedented level, transforming from a mere transit, transit route in the 90s into a country filled with drug abusers and drug traffickers all over its land space. While a population of 30 to 35 million Nigerians spends approximately $15,000 and $30,000 annually on psychotropic drugs and alcoholic beverages, respectively. The Senate is also to note that according to a report by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime and the Euro European Union on Drug Use in Nigeria, about 14.3 million Nigerians between the ages of 15 and 64 are drug abusers. The consequences of drug abuse will continue to endanger our national development, public safety and family system if urgent action is not taken to strengthen existing legal, policy and institutional frameworks to face the challenges with all sense of response. My dear colleagues, it's a serious matter. We need to really wake up from the... I mean, it's a sad commentary on the, ways, on the way things are done in this country. Very, very sad comment. A big nation that human capital now is number one in whatever you think. Any war, any country, out in the whole world, any country, human capital is what is in the front burner. It's what drives, you know, good economy. And we have an abundant population, beautiful population, and we're allowing it to get destroyed through, you know, intake of illicit drugs. is something that uh, we need to all put our hands together to make sure we deal with